Yeah, the headline may seem a little bit unbelievable, but check this out. Arnold Schwarzenegger to sue companies for first-degree murder. And it says this. Actor and environmental activist Arnold Schwarzenegger says he and a team of lawyers are set to sue major oil companies whose product is killing people. And if you scroll down a little bit, it says, I don't think there's any difference. If you walk into a room and you know you're going to kill someone, it's first-degree murder. I think it's the same thing with the oil companies. The Terminator, Star said. Now, as crazy as this may sound, a narrative like this needs to become the norm in the mass media if Rome is to be successful in their enforcement of the mark. And so we need to watch for big signs as well as little signs like this because those of us that study Christian prophecy know the Pope of Rome will be moved by Satan himself very soon to demand all people in the world keep Sunday holy to appease God, who they say is sending the greatly increased global calamities that he has named global warming. The literal thousands of articles about Sunday laws that I have on my website that keep coming in confirms this all hands down. And this is all besides the fact that global warming has been found to be bad science by tens of thousands of real scientists who, unlike the handful of Vatican scientists, they don't have a political agenda for everything they say and do. As strange as all this seems to some, we have to remember, Satan is the father of lies, and so it will always be bold-faced lies that he uses against the masses. Need I remind you of the lies he told Eve in the garden? When you step into disobedience, lies become believable because you switched who you worship. Hence the reason most people trust the Pope today. All the strange occurrences around the world, you know, from earthquakes, uh, volcanic activity, strange weather to uh, animals, birds, insects, and fish dying in biblical numbers, all of this has been prophesied to happen right before Jesus returns. And Satan needs to hide that prophetic fulfillment that's happening right now, so he can use it against those that don't read Bibles as a very effective way to control them. But Satan, who has now been proven to rule the roost in the Vatican as per biblical, prophetic, historic, and even eyewitnesses now, he knows that he has very little time left to do this final work, and he must ready the masses to kill those Christians who refuse to bow to the Pope and his admitted mark of Sunday Sabbath. And so this is why Schwarzenegger said what he did, and this is also why all the movies, the video games, and the music has become so violent lately. Satan is literally training his loyal and greatly deceived prophesied Armageddon troops as we speak. And so as crazy as it comes off at first by Schwarzenegger, this narrative must begin somewhere so the media can build on that idea that global warming is killing people so as to convince the masses it has nothing to do with the return of Christ. Now, yeah, it all sounds nutty right now, yeah, but they're going to build on this. Christian prophecy is that accurate. So keep your eyes open, and you're going to see Rome is going to be pushing their political pawns and send their media cohorts to build on the chance to declare the prophesied death sentence upon all those that refuse to bow to the Pope's admitted unbiblical Sunday Sabbath. Once done, it will become the law of the land, and all that refuse to obey will be legally worthy of death. Their reason to kill, however, will be that unless those refusing to keep Sunday holy die, the calamities from God are eventually going to kill everybody. And just as we saw how they used this method of attack against our Lord Jesus 2,000 years ago, they will use the very same lie again in the near future. And that lie is what the high priest Caiaphas stated in John chapter 11, verse 50, wherein he said that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people that the whole nation perish not. Then you're going to see all the 501c3 government pastors who built an image onto the beast in Rome join in unison to lobby for and then pass Sunday laws to supposedly appease the God of heaven. And all those refusing to keep the Roman Sabbath will then be declared guilty of first degree murder and therefore worthy of the long prophesied death by guillotine. Now do you see why there are tens of thousands of guillotines in storage right now in the USA as we speak? Yes, some that never read their Bibles or even study Christian prophecy for that matter may think what I just said is a bit of a long shot. But before you respond with your comments in my blog or YouTube page, those in bed with Rome have already declared in writing that the Christian God is angry when you refuse to keep the Roman Catholic Sabbath of Sunday. And they said this back when the Christmas tsunami hit in 2004. They actually said that the tsunami killed those 300,000 people because they weren't going to church on Sunday. And did you notice, no one balked at that statement in any of the churches of the world, because as also prophesied, they are right now wandering after the beast in loyal obedience anyway. 
they actually think the Sabbath is Sunday and therefore believe Sunday laws are going to be a good idea. And since the mortal wound has already been officially healed, talk in the media of obedient Christians being guilty of first-degree murder will begin as prophesied. This is what's next on the prophetic to-do list of the man of sin in Rome. And so, as we see, a man that is no stranger to killing in mass in his blood-drenched Hollywood movies, this man has obviously been chosen by Rome, the historic mother of all modern-day politicians, to begin talking points towards the enforcement of the mark of the beast by declaring climate change is killing us. And therefore, just as the oil companies should be considered guilty of first-degree murder, Rome can now build on this to proclaim the Sabbath-keeping Christians who refuse to bow to the Pope will be considered guilty. And then the final law will be passed to have us all killed. But those of us that study the Christian Bible and its prophetic truths know that when they do that, the Gideon band is going to go forth and glorify the Lord who protects them from any and all weapons formed against them, just as much as he did the 7,000 who refused to bow to Baal in Elijah's day. Thank you for watching. God bless.